Um, hi. Welcome to my self-indulgent story time, where I seem to enjoy the sound of my own voice far too much. Welcome. Um, so this is kind of the story about how I became a gigantic nerd. Um, for people who know me at all, uh, they know I'm a huge comic book fan. Um, and to be honest, I didn't really ever have a choice in the matter. Uh, me and my brother had a babysitter named Jessica Bell. So I was six, my brother was eight, and that's when she started kind of looking after us when our parents would go out. And pretty much every time uh, she babysat us, me and my brother would walk up to her house, which was only like six or seven houses up from ours. We lived in a town of 1,600 people on Vancouver Island, so it was like every, it's like re really close knit. And um, me and my brother would walk up there, and Jessica would have just like this bag for each of us. And we'd take it and we'd walk back to our house and we'd just be talking the whole time. And Almost every time, there was something awesome in those bags. Her parents would tape things off TV onto VHS all the time, and they had all like the movie channels, so they would always get shit just a little bit ahead of everyone else. So we would watch Star Wars, we would watch like Legend, we would watch Willow, like yeah. I didn't expect to have this much of like a flashback mid story, uh, but it was awesome. But one of the things was she worked at a kind of pharmacy slash variety store. There weren't very many stores open in town at all, so everything dabbled in everything. Every store had to carry a lot because we didn't have many stores. And her sold comic books. Now, if you've ever opened up a book and read the part where it says if this book was sold without its cover, it was sold illegally and the publisher received no money for it. Now, what that means basically is that it, I think, I don't know, someone's gonna know better than me, but I was pretty sure what it means is it's risky to buy a book, you don't know if it's gonna sell. So you buy the book off the publisher or the distributor, or whoever, and then if it doesn't sell, you rip off the cover, mail the cover back to the publisher for a rebate, and you destroy the interior of the book. Done. So then it's not much as much of a risk to buy and try to sell literature, which I th always thought was awesome. Now, you're supposed to do the same things with like magazines. So Jessica would rip all the covers off the comic books, they would mail the covers back to the distributor, and then this aspiring young pre-piracy thief, basically, she would bring all the unsold comic books to me and my brother. I don't even know how many kids she actually looked after, but me and my brother would always get them. So whatever had come out but not sold from the last time she had babysat us up until the time she babysat us, we would get just this dump of comic books. So it ended up that our like uh, closet was just full. So there were like six or seven rows of comic books and they were, there's not enough room in frame to illustrate it, but like up to my knee now. So like two feet of seven stacks of comic books and it was just unreal. So like I didn't even have a choice in my nerdiness. I, def I continued it with a fair amount of deliberation and choice, but like, I just think it's so interesting that my passions were so tuned by one person, and it had such a big impact on how I read story and what I read stories for and like what I look for in the stuff that I both read and watch, but it was really cool. So basically every two weeks I would just kind of dump a comic books. And I always thought it was interesting that I never expressed interest in comic books. Neither did my brother, and he didn't really follow through after. But I thought it was neat that, like, I didn't have a choice. I, I never sought it out, but once I had it, holy shit, I couldn't let it go. But that's kind of the story of uh, how I became a nerd. It's just one person's decision to gift me and my brother a shit ton of comic books. And then I kind of stopped reading comic books in high school because, you know, cool kids don't do that. I was never cool, but one thing you don't do if you want to be is read comic books or tell people that you do. Well, at least that's how it was when I was in high school. I don't know. I hope it's easier now. It seems like it would be easier. It's a fuck ton more mainstream. And it's not like the best-selling movies or comic book movies now. 
So, solid start, got a little rambly, and then I decided I was done. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening, and happy Easter. <laughs>